teacher's bell. Where learning rings a bell. Good day, everyone! Welcome to Science 3 Revised K-12 Curriculum, Quarter 1, Week 4, Day 1. Physical Properties of Solid Learning objective is, by the end of the lesson, learners should be able to identify and describe the basic characteristics of solid such as color, shape, size, and texture. Group or classify objects based on their observable properties. Lesson language practice. Unlock difficulties in understanding the following terms. A solid is something you can hold and touch, like the wooden block, soccer ball, and a gift. It has its own shape and does not flow or spread out like water or air. Physical properties are the things we can see, feel, or measure about an object without changing what it is. These include size, shape, color, and texture, using our senses to observe. Size, how big or small something is. Tall and short, long and short, big and small. Shape is the form or outline of something. Texture is how an object feels. It could be rough, like the bark of a tree, smooth, like a bottle, soft, like a pillow, and hard, like a rock. Science activity. Size line up. Can you see the objects? Yes, our task is to arrange the objects from smallest to biggest, okay? Our first object is the eraser. That's the smallest. Next is the pencil. Correct. And then the notebook, the shoes, the sketchbook, and the backpack. So discussion after the activity. Which object was the biggest? Yes, it's the backpack. Two, which object was the smallest? Yes, it's the eraser. Three, are all big objects heavy? No, some are heavy and some are light. What does medium size mean? Not too big or small. Can you group objects by size? Yes, of course. It's part of the physical properties of objects. Why do we observe size? To compare and classify. What is the size of your pencil? Hmm... Yes, it's about 15 centimeters. What tool helps measure size? Yes, we have learned that in our previous lesson. A ruler, a meter stick, or tape measure. Activity 2. Classifying box. Let us pick an object from the box and describe its physical properties. Describe it according to its... Size, shape, color, and texture. Are you ready? Yes! You're ready! Okay, our object one is a toy car. The size is medium in size. The shape? The car is car shape, of course, with round wheels. How about the color? It's red. The texture? The texture? It's hard. Yes? Smooth with bumpy areas. Okay. Object 2. The size is medium. The shape? It's irregular. We cannot tell. 
The color is gray and the texture is, yes, it's hard and rough. Object 3. A handkerchief. Yes, the size is medium also. The shape is square. The color is pink and the texture is soft and woven because it is a cloth. Object 4. Sponge. The size is medium. It is rectangle in shape. The color is yellow and the texture is soft and squishy. Yes. Next. Which one does not belong for our activity tree? Are you ready to spot which one does not belong? Okay, spot the solid object that does not belong based on its physical properties and explain why, okay? This is a ball, cube, box, and a plate. Which one does not belong? Yes, it's the plate. Why? Others are 3D shapes while the plate is flat. Okay, next. It's a pillow. A cotton, a rock, and a teddy bear. Which one does not belong? Yes, it's the rock. Why? Because the rock is hard and rough. Others are soft. Next. Apple. Banana. Tomato. Orange. Which one does not belong? Yes, it's the banana. Why? Because others are round fruits. The banana is long. We have here the spoon. Pencil. Marble and the ruler. Which one does not belong? Yes, it's the marble because it's round and others are long and thin. Next. Which one does not belong? Yes, it's the square tile because it is different in shape. It is not round, unlike the other objects. How about this one? A bark of a tree, a glass bottle, a pillow, and a rock. Which one does not belong? Yes, it's the pillow because others are hard and the pillow is soft. Generalization Solids have different physical properties such as color, shape, size, and texture that we can observe using our senses. We can group or classify solid objects by looking at how they are alike or different based on these physical properties. Importance of knowing characteristics of solids. 1. Helps us choose the right object. We pick the right tool or item, like a soft pillow or a strong chair, by knowing its properties. 2. Makes sorting and organizing easier. We can put things in groups like round toys or smooth objects to keep things neat. 3. It helps us stay safe. Knowing if something is hard, sharp, or heavy helps us avoid getting hurt. 4. Used in building and fixing things. Builders and workers choose materials based on size, shape, and texture. 5. It helps scientists and students learn. Observing and comparing solids is one way scientists explore and discover more about materials. Evaluation Science Skill Quiz Get your notebooks and answer the quiz. Are you ready? Yes, ready! Part A. Which one does not belong? Write the letter of the object which do not belong to the group. 
to write the letter of the object which do not belong to the group. Three, write the letter of the object which do not belong to the group. Four, write the letter of the object which do not belong to the group. Five, write the letter of the object which do not belong to the group. Okay, part A. Which one does not belong? Let's see the answers. Yes, the answer is letter A, the plastic spoon. Two, the answer is the bark of the tree because it is rough. The other are smooth. Three, the sandpaper because it is rough and the others are soft. Number four, letter A. Because it is hard, the others are soft. 5. Letter A. The deeper in size. Okay, good job kids! Part B. Importance of knowing characteristics of solids. Choose the best answer. 1. You want to buy pillow for your bed. Which characteristic will help you choose a comfortable one? A. Color B. Size C. Texture D. Weight <laughs> 2. Maria is sorting her toys by shape. Why is this helpful? A. To clean faster B. To group them by use C. To organize them neatly. D. To give them away. Three. Juan picked a metal spoon instead of a plastic one to eat hot soup. Why? A. Metal is heavier. B. Metal is smoother. C. Metal is shiny. D. Metal is stronger and won't melt. Four, you are packing your bag for school. Which object should go at the bottom because it is heavy? A. Notebook B. Pencil C. Paper D. Eraser Five, Anna picked up a toy and noticed it was sharp and hard. What is the safest thing for her to do? A. Keep playing with it B. Hide it from others C. Tell an adult or teacher about it D. Wrap it in paper and keep it Six. A builder chooses bricks instead of paper to build a wall. Why? A. Bricks are heavier. B. Paper is more colorful. C. Bricks are soft. D. Paper is round. Seven. Paolo wants to group items with the same texture. Which group is correct? A. Paper, sandpaper, sponge. B. Glass, metal spoon, plastic plate. C. Towel, plastic, coin. D. Rock, paper clip, cotton. Eight. Teacher asks you to find something with a smooth surface. What should you pick? A. Bark of a tree B. Sandpaper C. Plastic bottle D. Towel Nine. Why is it helpful to know if something is small or large? A. So you can color it B. 
to place or carry it properly. C. To break it. D. To throw it away. Ten. A scientist is testing materials. Why does she observe their texture and hardness? A. To see if they can bounce. B. To describe their color. C. To know which is safe or strong. D. To clean them. Okay, let's see the answer on part B, importance of knowing characteristics of solids. Let's see the answers. 1. You want to buy a pillow for your bed. Which characteristic will help you choose a comfortable one? Letter C. Texture. 2. Maria is sorting her toys by shape. Why is this helpful? C. To organize them neatly. 3. Juan, pick a metal spoon instead of a plastic one to eat hot soup. Why? D. Metal is stronger and won't melt. 4. You are packing your bag for school. Which object should go at the bottom because it is heavy? The answer is A. Notebook. 5. Anna pick up a toy and notice it was sharp and hard. What is the safest thing for her to do? The answer is C. Tell an adult or teacher about it. 6. A builder chooses bricks instead of paper to build a wall. Why? The answer is yes. Letter A. Bricks are heavier. 7. Paolo wants to group items with the same texture. Which group is correct? The answer is yes. B. Glass, metal spoon, and plastic plate. 8. Teacher asks you to find something with a smooth surface. What should you pick? The answer is C. Plastic bottle. 9. Why is it helpful to know if something is small or large? The answer is B. To place or carry it properly. 10. A scientist is testing materials. Why does he observe their texture and hardness? The answer is yes. Letter C. To know which is safe or strong. Good job, kids. Great job. Teacher's bell. We're learning. Ring a bell.